position, nothing special. Seaside. Not very seaside -y really. So I didn't have my, I couldn't find my protector, so I've wrapped it around with cling film, which seems to do a job. And I've done the, I've done it around there. I've done it around the sunray. What else? I've got some new trousers on, which are totally split, which is brilliant. And this isn't so special, but it's uh, probably First World War old uh, old figure. So now I just thought I'd show you my uh, mess. Okay, quick run through. Uh, firstly, uh, you know we we found those five rings. Uh, the next day we went and uh, well, we didn't find anything at all really. Uh, we were out for about four hours, so that's like eight hours eight man hours and all I found was oh no that was the time before when I found that I don't remember that that was some money belt clip it looks like and it had a stone there but when I was washing it it came out and fell down the plug hole <laughs> but uh, it's only made from brass uh, and I put that in uh, the ice box and it kind of retained its colour, sort of. Uh, Blackberry phone, don't know if they're any good. Uh, and uh, oh, yeah, also I found them that I found that, uh, that 10p or the two florins, which was or no, the florin, which was two shillings, which was uh, a tenth of a pound, it was uh, 24 shillings in a pound. Uh, before 1971, so this was worth a lot of money when I was a child, but uh, it's not worth anything now. I put that in the ice box as well, and uh, that ret retained the colour. That's just my cat eating her cookies. Uh, on the same trip, I didn't record it live because I didn't think it was anything that special. I and mean, it's not nothing that special, but uh, it's a watch with uh, and it had a cover on it could have been nice one one time that was the face see the fascia but it can't really see much so shame about that too so what else so we were out yesterday so that was the f eight hours of uh, not finding anything after after uh, finding those five rings and so we were out yesterday and uh, I use these things for uh, clipping my jacket together kind of thing and they go rusty in the in the salt so I found about 13 14 uh, fishing weights so fishing weights all different designs and big ones small ones big one uh, my friends were going to sell these fishing weights to someone so what else do we find that's a rubbish lock that's a piece of jewelry but nothing special I don't know what it's made from what else we got it's just a piece of electrical thing it's a wheel there's a few bits and pieces Uh, more jewellery, but uh, nothing special. I think it's something called pin spec. Uh, it's not gold. Doesn't weigh much. It, it, it was holding something. See, see where it held something, and it. And that was obviously the front. And, and the same trip yesterday. Um, that which is roughly the same thing. I think these are just Victorian, and you can see where the where it clipped 
to the jacket or whatever so that had something in there and that had something in there there's another piece of jewellery but uh, not gold unfortunately when it's gold it uh, retains its colour this obviously hasn't and uh, it's just gone uh, manky it's got half pound, half something other than that it's made from lead I don't know what it was used for that's got half so anyhow so uh, I was bunging all my stuff in that's a bullet uh, I was bunging all my stuff in in my bag and blah 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 and uh, so it gets back dumps it all on here and uh, out pops this and I think I thought right okay well that's nothing special because it's just got a hole in it and blah 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 so, and I thought right that's a hole and that is not a hole and that's like got a little diamond in there it must be a diamond or a diamond chip because it's uh, it's so tiny I don't think they'd have uh, imitation and on the inside it's got uh, sterling silver and then it's got some something beginning with S as the maker where is it oh there you go something beginning with S as the maker and it's got then CZ which may be Czechoslovakia but I don't know I think CZ used to be Czechos the abbreviation for Czechoslovakia yeah. and so it's made from silver discoloured with a little little chip in there but it's pretty ring I mean yeah pretty ring I don't normally like rings but anyhow so that's how big it is because it won't even fit over my uh, little finger but I'll, I'll give that a clean and see what it looks like. Might even use that to uh, bicarbonate of soda and uh, and boil the bicarbonate of soda on a uh, sheet of tin foil. So if, if anyone can make out those markings, that'd be fantastic. I'll give you an update of if I see anything better on the. Uh, markings at a later date and I got this through from the uh, Museum of London and this goes to the coroner this is like my six or seven treasure find uh, and it is the gold button I found the gold button's tiny but these are the blow ups of the uh, gold button and uh, there's a video of me finding it live uh, maybe about six months back not sure but you can see me finding it and it's a tiny thing but it's obviously very beautiful and I think that's like 1650s that, that button because I found it in uh, the same field as I found the gold posy ring which is dated 1657 which is going into uh, the muse museum in about two months time uh, for which they've paid me and the landowner so the landowner gets half so that's about it really and uh, so I hope you find something really interesting and beautiful on your hunts and uh, maybe get some gold as well okay take care good luck and get some gold